Hey guys, my name is Jeff and thank you for checking out my channel, Films at Home. I do a lot of Blu-ray, 4K reviews, collection updates, uh, movie room tours, all kinds of great stuff if you're a movie collector, physical media lover, or if you just love movies. So please click that subscribe button if you're a movie lover. I would really appreciate it. Today's video, I'm going to do a collection update. It has been a little while since I did one of these and I got a lot of titles in. Some of these were purchased, some of these were given to me uh, by the studios, but I've got a nice list of titles here to talk about and show off. New releases, uh, new 4K re-releases uh, re of older movies, and a ton of really great stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that. We're going to play the intro and get started with this update. Alright guys, so first off, I'm going to start with some movies that I actually purchased myself. Uh, these were not sent to me for review. These were just personal purchases, stuff I really wanted to get. Uh, the first one is The Lords of Dogtown. It's a skateboarding movie. Stars Heath Ledger, um, Emile Hirsch, a couple guys you might know. Obviously, you know Heath Ledger. But uh, it also has Johnny Knoxville in it, Mitch Hedberg. It has a really great cast. Hasn't really had a nice Blu-ray release like this yet. This is an unrated extended edition. Really nice slipcover on it. I grabbed this for very cheap from Bull Moose, so definitely check them out for that title. Also grabbed this from uh, Dread Central Presents in Epic Releasing. This is Terrifier. This is a killer clown movie, basically. Art the Clown is, is the, uh, the bad guy in this, and like it says, it makes Pennywise look like Krusty. I think they say that not because Pennywise isn't scary, but because this is a very gory movie. And the clown in this movie, Art the Clown, really goes all out with the kills. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's an indie horror movie. You can grab it for 20 bucks just by doing a quick search online and going to the, uh, the website for the filmmakers. They're selling it on there for $20. I believe they're also selling it on Dread Central. So check it out. But um, a great, great cast. Really interesting movie. I think there's a lot that will come out of this. I don't think this will be the only one. Uh, it's getting picked up by all kinds of people. I think Terror Threads was making t-shirts. You know, the horror community has been going nuts about this movie. So I highly recommend it. Spend the 20 bucks, support the filmmakers, get the Blu-ray. David Howard Thornton plays Art the Clown in this. He's actually really active on Instagram and on Twitter promoting the film. So if you do buy this, find him, tag him. You know, he'll give you a personal thank you. But he loves the character. He did a great job. And I think a lot of uh, sequels are to come or, or other instances where we'll see Art the Clown. This is from the same director as All Hallows' Eve, if you've seen that movie. So uh, you're definitely going to want to pick this up if you're a horror fan and, and support the indie horror filmmakers that are still putting out physical media like this Blu-ray. Not really an indie studio, but I always support these guys too. This is Scream Factory's collector's edition of The Strangers. Uh, it has a new transfer, which is really nice. It's a new 2K transfer taking right from the theatrical cut. Also has an unrated version that also has a new HD master um, in 2K. And this is one of the scariest movies that I personally have ever seen. I remember seeing this in the movie theater when I was in high school, and it creeped me out. There are some scenes in this that I still think about to this day, especially if you've seen this and you remember anything about the kitchen, a dark kitchen, um, yeah, there's a lot going on here. Really scary. Um, somebody on Instagram actually pointed this out to me though, and it's interesting. So they put the tagline, because you were home, right on the cover. And that was kind of the tag, that's become the tagline for the movie. I can't remember if it was the tagline for the theatrical edition and, and the posters originally. But it's interesting because this, this person on Instagram pointed out to me, it kind of gives away the movie. The whole question is, you know, why are these people doing this? And the answer is because you were home, which is scary because they have no reason. They're just out to kill and you happen to be home. You know, they kind of put that right in the front cover. It made a lot of sense to me. I never thought about it that way. So uh, just kind of an interesting take I wanted to share. But, uh, you know, it's a great movie and Liv Tyler's in it. She's actually really good in this and it is so creepy. And the Scream Factory edition is excellent. I got this for only 15 bucks with a slipcover on Amazon. So definitely look for some deals. Best Buy's been doing some great deals on Screen Factory titles as well, so go check those out. 
And then the last one that I purchased, I also got this from Bull Moose. Uh, this is The Wailing. This is a Korean horror film. Really creepy, supernatural thriller. Um, I'm not going to give too much away, but there's some stuff in this that is going to really screw you up, I think. It's, it's really a psychologically uh, disturbing movie, but very scary. Some of our best American horror movies, as you know, have come from Japanese you know, remakes, stuff like uh, old boy and the grudge and the ring and I mean audition is another one like there's just so much great Japanese horror and the Koreans are now stepping up their game there's been some really nice Korean horror releases and so the, kind of the whole area over there in Asia has been making some great horror movies but Korea is really stepping up to a level where Japan used to be uh, and the wailing is one of their finest movies so far highly recommend grabbing this if you can find it with a slip cover, it is a Wellgo USA title, so slip covers are probably limited. It's a smaller studio, but if you can find it with a slip cover, it's always nice to get. It has some nice artwork. If you can't, same on the inside, so no big deal. All right, next up here are some 4K titles that I got in. These were all sent to me uh, as review copies. You may have already seen this. This is Grease in 4K. If you click here, you'll be able to see my review of that. I reviewed the 4K release, did an unboxing, talked about all the new features. Really, really great, highly recommended. Paramount sent this to me for review, and it's one of the best 4K discs that I've reviewed in a long time. So go check out the full review for more on that. But when this comes out, I recommend you grab me and adding it to your collection. I also have what I'm calling Taken on a Train. This is Liam Neeson movie, The Commuter. This was sent to me uh, from Lionsgate. It has a decent 4K transfer. Uh, nothing crazy. I've actually checked this one out on digital beforehand, so I haven't broken into the disc, but the 4K was really nice. Um, you know, the disc will obviously have some smaller improvements. I just haven't gotten to it yet. It just came in. But the movie is just a typical action movie, something that Liam Neeson has been doing a lot of lately, which is why I called it Taken on a Train. He's done, uh, I believe he's done Taken on a Plane now. He had a, a non-stop was the plane movie. This is Taken on a Train, The Commuter, and then the three Taken movies. Basically, give Liam Neeson a gun, send him on some sort of mission, and it becomes another Taken movie at this point. But they're all kind of fun if you like action movies. Um, it's not going to blow you away or win any Oscars, but it's fun to watch. The 4K features are, uh, are pretty nice. The visuals and the audio is great. Uh, it, doesn't ha it does have sorry a Dolby Atmos track on it, which is really great if you're an audio fan. Uh, the gunshots and stuff are going to sound excellent. The train sound. I mean, it's it's a good audio release. Just nothing special from a movie standpoint. Uh, and then I got this one in from Lionsgate as well. This is Hostels, Christian Bale movie. Uh, Christian Bale is basically this kind of Western um, army captain. He has to transfer this uh, chief. I think he's from the Cheyenne. And he has to get him across basically enemy land of other tribes. He, he's kind of a dying older chief has to get him back to his tribal lands across the uh, across New Mexico, across Montana. They go on this kind of cross-country uh, journey. It's a long movie. It's, it's not the most exciting thing. You could probably, if you've seen something like Slow West, or if you've seen, um, I mean, I guess it's a little bit like The Revenant, just in the, in the sort of time and the setting of it. But, I mean, it's right up there with those kind of, Movies that take place in the late 1800s. There's the, you know, the flintlock pistols and the horse chases. And there's some really cool scenes. And it's an interesting look at how kind of the U.S. and the Army interacted with the Native Americans. And obviously we haven't had the, the best track record with them. So um, it's an interesting story. Lots of good fights in here. Especially with the Comanche tribes, which are trying to basically take this, uh, this old tribal chief out. And the 4K is pretty solid. It's a very nice presentation. Uh, one of the better ones that Lionsgate has actually done. And they've done some kind of crappy ones. So this ranks up there in their top you know, 10 or 15 uh, so far in the 4K format. All right, so that's it for 4K. Now on to the standard Blu-rays. Uh, this just came in from Sony. This is the latest entry in the Insidious series, Insidious The Last Key. This follows right up... Um, after Insidious 3. It doesn't it doesn't follow right up to that, but it's it's the next movie after Insidious 3. It's the fourth Insidious movie. Um, you know, Insidious, the first one, personally, is one of my favorite horror movies, and the fact that it's only got a PG-13 rating, it really scared me. There's some great jump scares in that. Some of the characters are, are really creepy. 
uh, especially the Tiny Tim character and the devil. I mean, there's some great creature work in it uh, and some pretty good CGI, creepy, creepy stuff. This one basically focuses on uh, Lynn Shay. She is the actress who is the psychologist, Dr. Rayner, in all of the other Insidious movies. And it, it basically, she has to go back to her family home. There's demons. They've been tracking her since childhood. She's got her investigative partners with her who you know from the other Insidious movies. And they basically have to go deeper into the further, which is the, the area where the ghosts and demons are. And um, it just gets really, really creepy from there. There's also some nice special features. There's deleted scenes, an alternate ending, a couple featurettes. Uh, and the Blu-ray release is, is very solid. Sony always does a great job with their Blu-ray releases. Being the, the parent, basically, of the Blu-ray format, they've done a great job for years. And it just comes with the digital copy, a nice little slip cover. Um, nice little release. If you're into Insidious, obviously, you're going to want to check out the next movie in the series. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I definitely suggest going back to the beginning first. There's a lot that ties back in to the previous movies that are, you know, in this movie. Uh, I also got from Universal. Uh, this is an action movie, Den of Thieves. This stars O'Shea Jackson Jr., who you know from Straight Outta Compton. He's Ice Cube's son. Gerard Butler's in this. 50 Cent's in this. It's basically a shoot 'em up L.A. crime movie. Um, you know, bank robberies. Federal Reserve Bank's being taken down in downtown L.A. Kind of your typical action movie. You've seen a lot of this. But um, basically, Gerard Butler's on one side. He's kind of the sheriff. He's leading the SWAT team. You got 50 Cent on the other side. He's kind of robbing the banks. I mean, it's a cool, uh, it's a nice release. Good audio on it. Great visuals. Um, limited on bonus features. But uh, overall, a pretty fun movie. I actually really liked it. If you've ever seen Triple Nine, which is another Universal uh, Pictures release from a couple years back, it reminds me a lot of this, although there's more definitely action and, and bank robbing in this, but it's a similar type of feel. Kind of a gritty crime saga. Uh, Gerard Butler's always fun to watch in action movies, regardless of what you think of him. I think he's a great actor when it comes to this sort of stuff. He's really gritty. I really like it. O'Shea Jackson's up and coming star too. I think he's going to be big and he's awesome in this movie. So I definitely recommend it if you're into that sort of thing. I also have here, uh, this is from Warner Brothers. This is Paddington 2, which I think surprised a lot of people. As you can see on the cover, as of March 1st, 2018, this had a 100% Rotten Tomatoes rating. When's the last time you saw an animated sequel except maybe... Toy Story 2 that ever had a rating this high. I mean, it's insane. It got such great reviews. Um, it's really kind of a, a fun family movie. Not necessarily for me. I mean, I don't have kids or anything, so it's it, it's kind of whatever. But if you had kids, it's a good one to watch. You can see from the cast here, you got Hugh Bonneville, Sally Do uh, Hawkins, Brennan Gleeson, Hugh Grant, Peter Capaldi, a really great um, you know European, British mostly cast. And in the movie... According to all reviews, and you know, I saw bits and pieces of it. I mean, it's solid. It's not your average kids' movie. There's actually some decent themes in this, some good direction. Um, I mean, I don't know if it earned its hundred percent Rotten Tomatoes rating. Seems high, especially from what I saw. But you know, it is what it is. Congrats to Warner Brothers on finding this kind of hidden gem. All right, guys. Sorry about that. My light just gave out. Uh, so now I got to finish this kind of handheld. My whole equipment just went down. But I got to finish the video real quick. So that's the uh, collection update. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you got some nice suggestions out of it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, any concerns, anything you want to know about any of these titles. Happy to help you out. Uh, definitely remember to subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. And as always, I'm going to leave a donation button in the description. It goes right to my personal PayPal that I use for this channel to buy more equipment, to buy better stuff so my light doesn't go out again. Uh, this thing's been a pain in the neck, but if you do donate, it goes right to me. There's going to be no paywall. There's no Patreon. There's nothing I'm hiding any content behind. If you have a few bucks and you can donate, please donate. If you can't, no worries. You're still going to be able to see the content. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, wait for that next collection update video, and I will be back with more content soon.